All right, guys, I'm back out here. I mixed up some mache. Uh, this is the mache before water's added. I got it on Amazon, and you can see it just says cellu clay. It's essentially the stuff we made with the newspaper insulation and the drywall compound. Pre-mixed, all that kind of stuff, but it's with white paper. So it comes out white. I've already mixed it up, or what I'm gonna use, start with, and we're just gonna start putting it on. So what I learned with the test run I did with the little block, this is that if I get it too thin, I can see the, the screen through it. So I have to be careful not to get it too thin. But I also want to spread it so it goes farther. So I'm just going to work it on and get a texture on it. I'm going to work it up to the rock so it looks like the rock is hopefully coming out of the ground. I'll have to take the brush back or a sponge and add some texture and blend that to the rock. Okay, so I've just taken a regular kitchen sponge, got it damp, and now I'm gonna go in and Try to work that around the rock. Just pushing down on it. I'm going to go all the way around the base of the rock with it. thing I don't want my finger you know pushing it down I'm mushing it with my fingers I don't want to see my the trails from my fingers in there so that's why I'm doing this That's the process, we're gonna do that over the entire thing and let that set and dry. So I'm gonna keep going and try to knock this out. Okay, I've mixed up my second batch. This is as far as I've got. So I'm going along and I'm treating it much like I'm painting a wall. When you're painting a wall, you don't want your wet edge to ever become dry. 
you know, when you're going up and down the wall, you don't want to keep going and have it dry out up here and then have to rematch it because it doesn't match quite as well. You want to keep it your painting edge wet. If that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to keep moving along the edge and always adding fresh so it's never drying out along my edge. Just to help blend it better. I think if it does dry, it's not the end of the world. I think you could build layers of this upon layers. I just think for the purposes of trying to blend it, it will be easier. Again, that's a theory. I've never done this before. I've never built a habitat. So this is a learning process. So the, you can maybe spread a little thinner on the finer mesh, but it also wants to peel up more. So I, I'd say I like the heavier mesh better. You might use a little more. but it it grabs it holds it much better but I go over this and try to you know texture it or smooth it out it's constantly wanting to peel up so you're fixing it see I'm trying to smooth it out a little which then means you end up putting more on so you really don't end up kind of saving much. Oh, sorry about that. So this is I mean, I've, I've worked in construction a number of years, concrete, that kind of stuff. And, you know, you add water to this to make it into this clay mold you can use, not unlike concrete, right? And while there is some evaporation, it's technically not evaporation that causes this mache or concrete to get hard. It's a chemical reaction. So you do have a limited amount of time to work with this. I mean, if you, you can add a little more water and extend that, but it's a chemical reaction that's taken place. So even by adding that water, you're only gonna gain a little bit more. You need to work I wouldn't say I'm working fast on this, but I'm I'm moving along. I don't want it setting up before I get finished because I want to be able to go back and touch up some spots that I don't that I might have missed or that need a little extra attention. And a way to do that. That's a big glob. The way to do that is to get your fingers a little wet and rub them across the top. Add a little more moisture to it and it'll make it a little more easy to smooth out, get the texture you want. I mean, that, 
at the bottom of this, there's, I mean, it's wet, but it's sticking, it's setting and getting hard in the bottom of this container. But that's pretty wet stuff. I actually added a little water to it because I found a dry pocket. some water just set on the bottom there. It's still getting hard even though it's very, very wet. See? And then when it's too wet, you end up with that. It's working through. I need to get some mix. What you can do if it's wet is it that's a good time to come add a very thin layer and get the texture you want. So I can dip, just dip my hand in the water and run over it and I can smooth out. I just want to touch up around the tree. I really want this tree to be able to come out, so I don't want to pack it too tight. And I can always put moss around here to cover the gaps. But I don't want to ton. So I want to get it in there. If I have to bring an exacto knife in there and cut it away from the tree. When I'm done, I'll do that. For now, I'm going to get this in there and get it textured. Alright guys, this is pretty much done. I'm going to go through and, like I said, I'm going to touch up some spots. Just smooth it out a little bit, but um, the next step will be to, I, I'm going to paint this base before I put sand on it. So that'll be the next step and that'll probably be on another video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.